You're so pretty. <laughs> Albert, quit walking off. Here. I'm already Elsa. here. There is Elsa. Is Jasmine. Is it Jasmine? I'm videoing them. I'm videoing them. It's him and it's where's Wally's girl. Guys, 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 yes. let's not entirely shop for fancy dress clothes, yeah? Don't this? Oh, this is... I don't think it's going to fit you. Look what we found. It's an ice trolley wig. that would fit me. Say that again. There's a very slim choice of trousers that would fit me. What? In, because of your ridiculously, ridiculously long legs? Yeah. Thank you. Was there anything you liked? I mean, there's one pair of slim jeans that I would potentially get. Kids, let's go! Just really expensive all my trousers. Fair enough. And there's no t-shirts that... That you'd like. Me. They're, mostly, they're either plain colours or really weird patterns. So, Bessie, is there anything you're particularly looking for in the shop today? Oh, oh, I might be looking for lost, lost toys stuff. Lost toys? Yeah, like oh. this. Okay. Oh. And you, someone, me, Bessie, Yes, you, me, and Bessie are going in there. That's right. Yeah. Let's go. TK Max. T-shirt, like the one you're wearing now. I like this. Hey. So you look at look at six, six and seven. So I can only fit in six and seven. Yeah. We 
from our shopping trip we have had dinner and i am ready to show you some of the stuff we bought so we went to a nearby shopping complex that has several large stores it's got a matalan a poundland a sports direct a tk max and an aldi the only one we did not go in actually no the two we didn't go in were sports direct because we're not really very sporty and aldi we weren't going to go in aldi but we'd all had enough by that point oh and then we went across the road to a sainsbury's <coughs> So we all got a new outfit for our back to school and we have some reasonably impressive stuff to show you. So first of all, this is what we got for Albert. It's a little three piece set. We've got a little t-shirt with a wolf and it says Night Howler, which is quite apt for a two year old, I thought. And then this cute shirt and it's got like a jersey grey hood. And then in the middle, you can see there's a little pair of jeans. And it's quite big. I think it's going to last him through the whole winter. And to be fair, even then, it might fit him a bit more. And that was two, sorry, that was $12.99. Um, that's, it's by Carter's, which I believe is an American company. Size 2T for 29 to 31 pounds or 32 to 41 kilograms. Now, Albert's under that so it'll last him a while i think but yeah bessie bessie is ridiculously hard to shop for on her on your own now the other thing is that she hates jeans it's a sensory thing they're scratchy she doesn't like them and then she saw these which are really cute just basic jeans but they came with a cat secret cat headband and she saw them and she was like, ah, oh, I love these, they're so cool. And what she meant was, it's my dog having fun on the floor. Um, what she meant was, I love the sequiny headband that makes me look like a sequiny cat. She did not mean I love the jeans, but the jeans inside are so soft. They are literally, the seams are soft, fabric is soft. And I looked at the composition, because I'm into that sort of thing, and it's 34% rayon, 32% cotton, 32% polyester, and 2% spandex, which explains it. Because that is a lovely soft blend. And they are by a company called Squeeze. And they are made in China. It doesn't say where the company comes from or anything, but they are a size five. They're a medium Elise, and they were 12 99 including the cute little headband. So that's what Bessie got. And then we found a top. She wanted to wear exclusively have party dresses. And I was like, no, that is not what is happening. We are not here to shop for party dresses. She would have got a bell outfit, to be fair, or some other, other kind of fa princess fancy dress. So eventually we managed to get her to pick a t shirt, which was this bright pink and gold sequiny t shirt. This is from Cynthia Rowley. It's a size six to seven. It says it's made in India and the i think the label has already been taken off this but i'm pretty sure it was like 4.99 which is pretty good it seems it's nice quality quite quite thick and obviously long sleeved ready for autumn so next is charles now charles recently said to me in his wise old age of seven i think i'm more of a jeans and shirt kind of man but then we went to the shop where there were jeans and shirts. He picked out jeans, but he did not pick out shirts, which was wildly weird, but whatever. He, being on the autistic spectrum, he can be a bit funny with fabrics, but he does love jeans. So we picked him out, he and I together. This, these jeans by Ripstop Global Redemption. They're called the Seville Jean. They're very dark gray and they're six to seven because he has legs that go on forever, but a tiny, tiny little waist. Um, they're quite they're quite soft inside, not nearly as soft as Bessie's, but they're 100% cotton, and they were 12.99. Their RRP was 33 pounds, so I think that's pretty good. So he has that, and then he also has this super super soft T-shirt, and it says "Dance songs make me." Sorry, Bessie came up to give me makeup that she had borrowed back. Not going to complain about that. Anyway, so Charles got this, which says dance songs make me happy, 1975 Summerfest in LA. Super soft, dark gray. I feel like he's a bit like Batman from the Lego movie. I only work in black and very, very dark gray. <laughs> uh, this is from Zara Kids. It's made in Turkey and it's size seven. And this was 3.99. You can't go wrong with four quid, can you? 
so cute and so soft. So next, what's Phil? Sorry, it's my dog coming in again. Um, Phil didn't find anything that he liked at all in Mathman. Didn't find really didn't find that much he liked in TK Maxx. And what he did like, they didn't have in his size. Now Phil is quite slim. He has a 32 inch waist, but he also has he has long, long legs. He's over six foot. And all of that is leg, um, and the, he really struggles to find jeans that are comfortable around the waist, and that that kind of take up, you know, will, will suit his really, really long legs. Um, they often don't have the two sizes together. Like long legs often come with big waistbands that they have in stock, which is really annoying for Phil. So we ended up going to Sainsbury's for that, but he did find two pairs of jeans in Sainsbury's that fit him, so he's super pleased with that. Uh, so we went to Sainsbury's and he had got a 32 regular, which was fine for him. And these were £14. And they're just a denim by two, contemporary. I won't hold them up because like they're really long and they go on forever, but here they are. They're kind of like a black with like a white melange going through. Um, made in Bangladesh. And they have some... Oh, sorry, I've got an itchy eye. Um, they have some lycra in, so it's... Uh, so they've got a bit of a stretch. No straight leg. But yeah, as you can see, they huge. Go on, go on better. Um, he wasn't going to get a t-shirt, but I saw this and it was totally him. The colour really suits his complexion and he likes motorbikes. So, win-win. And this was £6 in the men's section. It's 100% cotton. It's also a size small. They didn't really have any other colours. Um, any other colours, sorry, any other sizes, but... I don't know whether they have them online or not, but it might be worth checking out. But they're really nice. Mama. Again, another child wanting something. So, that was Phil. He also got another pair of jeans. Uh, I didn't... Oh no, I did bring those up. I'll show you those as well. Uh, they're exactly the same, they're just a dark blue. Um, he has recently worn out a pair of... A few pair of... Few, few pairs, sorry. A few pairs of his jeans. Um, and he really needed some, and then he was like, no, I only need one pair, and I was like, dude, he found two pairs that fit you, buy them. So, next, me, yay! Now, I hate shopping. Hate it. And I wonder if lots of other mums hate it too, because, you know, you say, oh, I want to spend my money on my kids, I want to spend my money on my kids, and then you buy something for yourself, and you're like, ugh. Because as when you're a mum and stuff changes, like your body shape changes, it takes you a while. I know lots of mums don't even get to that point. It takes you a while to get used to your body shape again. And, and I'm just getting there. I still wear quite a lot of baggy things. After three children, I do have a bit of a, a pouch, but that's okay. I love my pouch. My pouch grew three, can't count, three babies. So I'm entitled to a little pouch. But anyway, I had a look in TK Maxx. I didn't have a great look in TK Maxx because the kids by this point were done with being in TK Maxx. So I did get a little look and I did manage to get something. There would have been other things I would have bought or at least looked at, but TK Maxx only got one thing. But I love it. I love shirts. So I am totally into flannel or brushed cotton, shirts that are checked or plaid if you're in the US absolutely love them I will wear them all the time um I can see several of mine right now but I haven't got any sh I've only got one shirt that's not checked and now I have two Ooh, I'm sat on it it's green it's oversized so it's going to be quite baggy I will probably wear a t-shirt or a vest top underneath it um just because it's quite see-through I imagine that you'd probably be able to see the shape of my bra underneath um I wear these mulk bras um, I, the, they were originally designed for nursing, um, so because they're just strapped with a crossover, so you can just whip a boob out, but I will continue to wear them now forever because they're so comfy. Um, but obviously like they're quite brightly coloured and they're a certain distinct shape. So I probably will wear a vest top over the top of that. Um, and then I went into Sainsbury's and had a look around and I got these. Now they look quite red on the camera, but they're more like a brick orange with lovely navy spots. And this is a tad more, what's the word I'm looking for? Probably out there than I would usually wear. I would usually just wear jeans that are just plain, like a navy or black um, or leggings. But I saw these and I thought, you know what? Let's try something new. And I'm really, really excited about them. 
I'm going to wear them with boots and I'm going to wear them with trainers and who knows, I could wear them with flip flops if I wanted to, couldn't I? So that that's what we got. We also got a few bits of random bits from Poundland, some stationery ready for homeschooling, which I'll do in a separate video. Um, and we bought some sweets and some of their random little toys, which I'm not even going to do a video on because two of them I think are broken already. But that's Poundland for you keeps them happy for a little bit doesn't it um so should probably cast a single use plastic um because you play with it once and then it's dead um yeah so i don't think there's, there's anything else we are going to do a part two video of our look of our lookbook and um show you show you what what we look like with it all on uh thanks for watching part one see you later <laughs>